Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really simple yet super super effective recipe that will help you retain length. Now, you may have the impression that your hair isn't growing, but trust me, your hair is growing, sis. It is definitely growing. I think the problem may be because you are not retaining length. So if your hair is growing and it's constantly breaking, you will certainly have the impression that your hair isn't growing but it's actually growing so today's recipe is one of those deep conditioning recipes that I promise you if you use on a regular basis in your regimen you will definitely experience hair retention or length retention over time and I promise you you will notice your hair growing super fast so you definitely want to keep on watching now before we get into the video guys thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber I really love and appreciate support if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video so the first ingredient as you can see here is one ripe banana banana is rich in potassium vitamins and natural oils it helps to moisturize the scalp it promotes hair elasticity which prevents breakage it makes your hair shinier more manageable prevents dandruff protects against splitting and hair breakage and it also helps to soothe freezy hair so super amazing for hair growth now the next ingredient guys will be some avocado now avocado is better when it's eaten internally so add this to your diet as well as applying it topically now avocado has again lots of natural oils and healthy fats that helps to nourish the hair follicles and essentially help to promote hair growth it helps to restore the hair with healthy fats and moisture making the hair very soft healthy and resilient to damage they leave your hair feeling really soft shiny and resistant to damage so it is super super amazing and if you use this and eat this on a regular basis guys i promise you that you will definitely notice a huge change in how your hair looks and also in how you are able to retain length over time so make sure your avocado and your banana is properly wiped so that you don't have any sort of stock and um, any um, pulp left in your hair essentially now our next ingredient guys will be my favorite of all times fresh aloe vera leaf now it's quite easy to find it where i live um, but if it isn't where you live it's okay to check amazon or costco or any other store that sells aloe vera gel so it's very easy just go ahead wash your aloe vera cutting up and then remove the flesh of the aloe vera and just pop it in the same bowl in which we have our other two ingredients now aloe vera again is super super amazing it helps to control greasy hair it helps with itchy scalp prevents damage from uv promotes hair growth lots and lots and lots of benefits so after you added those two three together just go ahead and give it a good blend until everything is nice and smooth but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake now after blending it guys we're gonna go ahead and strain it for this i'm using a wig cap but feel free to use any other thing that you normally use to strain your diys it is super simple and really quick to strain so just pop this on your wig cap and essentially just give it a gentle squeeze and everything essentially comes out uh, and then you will have the pulp left behind now you can use this without straining if you want to but it's just that you may have a little bit of pulp left left behind so it's better if you strain and this is what i mean and when you strain so this is what we have left behind guys i'm now going to go in with some oil for this i'm using one of my diy oils i've shown you a videos on how i make it or i made it um sometime in the past but it's okay to use olive oil or rapeseed oil or argan oil any other oil that you may have available so i'm using about three tablespoons of oil now i'm going in finally with some honey now honey is a natural humectant so this naturally draws moisture from the atmosphere into your hair and it is super super important to treat your strands guys give it moisture giving all the nutrients that it needs to, to uh, thrive um because essentially that's what will help you retain length over time so for this i'm using two 
teaspoons of um, honey so just go ahead and mix everything up together until it's nice and combined and then that's it there you have it you have your dip conditioning treatment that you can do once a week or once every two weeks just to help you retain moisture nourish your strands and essentially over time help you to retain length now i tell you this from experience guys trust me you need to do this for you to notice length retention over time now i get lots of questions about oh my hair is not going i feel like i've tried everything it's not it's not going but honestly if you've got hair that grows on other parts of your body like your armpits your feet oh, i'm sorry your your legs your hands then you should have hair growing out of your scalp as well um so the problem may just be like i said before that it is just breaking and there may be a reason why it's breaking it could be to do with your diet or perhaps you know illness but if it's none of those things it may be because you're not retaining you're not keeping your hair moisturized enough essentially so this recipe will definitely help you out so now i'm going to show you how you can use this and you can also get to see how this reacts on my hair and also see what my final results are so i'll suggest that you continue to watch now in case you're new here the way that my regimen works is that i shampoo my hair every three to four weeks and then i try to dip condition once every week or once every other week just depending on how busy i get um and i suggest that you do the same guys because essentially just like i said before moisture is super super important when it comes to preventing breakage in general um our hair normally sheds and that's normal um nobody can avoid that obviously when it comes to breakage it's a completely different thing because your hair essentially just instead of you know shedding from the roots is sort of breaking maybe halfway through for example and if it continually does that you will certainly notice that you're losing length essentially or you're not retaining length um, over time so that's why dip conditioning is super super important so essentially i usually work on my hair in sections it's super easy this way instead of just like trying to apply um the dip conditioner all over your hair at the same time because that can pose more tangos and again breakage so it's always better you section it and essentially just like you saw me do earlier i finger detangled first and then i used a bit of water just to wet the hair a little bit because it was a bit dry and then i just went in with the dip conditioner throughout the length of my hair so including the roots all the way to the ends make sure that is nice and you know quite nicely covered and then you just go ahead and give it a good twist um, just like I'm doing here and then you'll do like a little bantu knot so that it doesn't dry out as you work on the next section of your hair and you are essentially going to repeat until the rest of your hair is completely done I was just showing my sister my hair because she was like oh my god your hair looks so long and so healthy um so yeah I'm actually quite happy I feel like my hair has been doing so much better um recently so yeah i'm just i'm just happy with the thickness i'm happy with the length and i'm just happy with how healthy it looks right now um so but anyway so essentially like i said guys i'm just repeating the same process until the rest of my hair is completely done now let me know in the comment section down below if perhaps you have try dip conditioning or if you dip condition on a regular basis and still experience breakage i would love to know let me know you know what your experience is essentially and if you have any questions please please leave them in the comment section down below i will try my best to get around to answering them on time for you guys i was trying to get a thumbnail here okay so please forgive me but yeah i was trying to get a thumbnail um for this video i may not even end up using this thumbnail but anyways we'll see
Entre la luna y el sol pega siento calor, yeah, yeah Como una historia pa' que me deslice Y el deslizado soy yo Como haciendo el amor, yeah, yeah Es que estoy puesto pa' ti En la cama va a fluir Lo que yo siento por ti Lo que tú sientes por mí, bebé Como FedEx Rapidito pa' uno de esos si te atreves Y si caigo por la noche será de más Será de más Fresco como mentor Te caliento como el sol Baby no te hago el favor Hacemos el amor Eso es a puro vapor Y es que se siente mejor Si es penalti pedimos el bar A lo mes si te meto ese call En la... Now, if you watch to this point of the video, guys, and you still haven't given it a thumbs up, please, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also, if you know it's something that you will be most likely to try or you like the video, just like I said before, don't keep it to yourself. Please share it with somebody that you believe could also learn or benefit from today's video. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, and I also want to say a massive thank you if you're one of those that continually come back for more content from me i'm so grateful for you guys um so yeah thank you so much so i just thought i'll show you guys what my hair was looking like here so you can see look at the definition honestly like look at how defined my curls are looking like this dip conditioner is the bomb like honestly super super moisturizing it really makes your hair super manageable and yeah it's just it's just great i just love how those curls are popping and even after i rinsed this off my hair i still had these curls like literally it's crazy so yeah essentially i'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair off camera just because as you can see the video is getting quite long and it wasn't really my intention guys um so yeah i'm gonna do the rest off camera and then i'll come back while when it's all done Okay guys, so this is me after applying the conditioner throughout my whole hair. So you can see it's all nice and done. So I'm not going to go ahead and just put a plastic bag on and just allow this to sit for about one to two hours just so that I can get enough heat on my hair. Now you can sit under like a, um, a like dryer if you want to. Uh, make the process a little bit quicker so go ahead and rinse this off with just warm water guys i know some of you guys will be asking in the comment section do i shampoo my hair after this no you do not do not need to shampoo your hair so just you know rinse it off with warm water and that's it and these are my results so you can see the hair is super super moisturized you can't feel it but i tell you the moisture is insane you have to try this and you can see it's super shiny as well um, so yeah, I really really loved my final results and I do hope that you guys go ahead and give this a try And if you do let me know in the comment section down below and this is it for me. Thank you for watching until next time. Bye